Okay. Yeah, end time. Okay. Action. All right, guys. Chef Toys and the Cutter Masters. This is a quick movie to show you how to sharpen their reamer. In this case, it's an eight flute reamer. Um, you line up the time the tool like so. Just just so that the uh, the tip of the flute's lined up somehow so there's some orientation you can relate to the next time you set the tool. <clears throat> In this case, um, we've modified the indexing collar so it has eight positions in the back. Uh, you can either plunge it or tip it and, and time it. So, so I'll just move this to... This tool seemed to be 50 degrees, so we're going to... Always match the existing grind. So, now what we're doing in this case, I've tipped the motor at about 13 degrees. <clears throat> because 15 degrees, I start to take out the next tooth. So at this point, you want to just bring the wheel in so then bring it in to, to touch. It should pretty much match. <clears throat> and then to feed the tool, Now we're going to move this away. So I have some slop set up in the indexing collar here. So I can either feed the tool like this, or I can leave it up tight in this way, and I can feed it like this, index to the next root, and touch it this way. So there's a couple different ways you can do that. Always pick up the original grind, and with regards to sharpening reamers, the biggest sin you can make on reamers is letting them get too dull. Our reamer has a circumferential land, just like a drill does. So if there's any deterioration on this surface up here, which is your margin, then you have to actually grind past that. So just grind the end of the reamer off square. Uh, once you know what the, what the angles are to reproduce when you repair it. And then start over because if there's any of this, if that's this diameter is small, then this will not cut, it'll just rub and you won't have a nice bore. The trick with having a good reamer is to have all the tips exactly the same length. So in this case, we're just going to come in to touch this. This is actually a diamond wheel, but we're running at really low RPM so it doesn't overheat high speed steel. We'll just come in and we'll that one. That one's already been ground. Or you can feed it this way. You can pull it back, go to the next tube. shoulders too. So just make sure make sure there's a little bit of clearance um, radially and about uh, about a 45 degree in the end generally with how it is. But always pick up the grind first to make sure you're producing the factory grind.